And you were getting stronger. I mean, you were getting three, four, five yards off the contact. Just, I guess, how big is that for you as you get, you guys wear them down? Uh, it's mainly about, you know, your attitude. You know, I've always been the type of guy who, you know, I've been through a lot in my life. Um, and my dad always told me, you know, always stay focused and always be hungry to keep going. Um, there's a lot of times there's obstacles in games, just like life, you know, but you can't put your head down and go in the corner and pout. You know, you gotta be a man and you gotta say, you know what, we gotta strap it on up and we gotta go keep fighting. And, um, you know, hats off to the O-line, man. They, 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 kept, they kept battling, you know, it wasn't a lot of big runs, explosive runs, but it really showed the resilience of this football team. Um, and I'm so proud of the guys and you know, I'm thankful to be a part of this, this great team, so. Coach talked about how Washington kind of caught you off guard with what someone was trying to do defensively. And as the game wore on, you just kind of had to scrap some of the plan and just kind of out physical them with the run game. Just what, as a running back, what's your mentality when, as the game goes on, your coach just looks at you and says, we're just going to need you to go one more, be a little tougher, push a little harder, basically. I mean, it's everything you work for in the offseason. I mean, you work so hard for those moments as a running back because you know that's what the team needs you to do. Um, it's nowhere near about Justice Ellison um, because it's not about me at all. It's about this team. And I knew that, and, that, and that's a simple example. I need to go make plays. I need to go be able to have that mentality. I need to get this first down. You know, I need to get four more yards. I need to get five more yards. I kept talking to myself because those type things to really help this team elevate the jersey. Um, and, you know, every single time I'm out there, I'm like, man, like, come on, give me some more push. Give me some more push. And I think the guys did great by keep doing that, and we can go and continue to keep doing that. So A little more sore this week? Than oh, yeah, I'm more. definitely sore. I mean, shoot, I had 29 carries ever. So, you know. <laughs> You had a moment when you kind of got fired up after converting that third and six. I don't know if you remember to carry, but in terms of just being that demonstrative emotion, what were you feeling today that you just, I don't know, it just seemed to hit you at that moment? Coach always says play with emotion, but don't play emotional. Um, I'm somebody that's going to play with emotion. Um, I give everything to this program. You know what I'm saying? I, I put extra hours in, you know, no one's looking. And other guys, they do the same thing. You know, I. I, I before the game, I dap everybody up, you know, whether it's the people who hand out water, because everybody's a part of this team, you know what I'm saying? And you guys, you know, media, they all are all part of this team too. So, you know, my mindset has always been, you know, play for each other. You know, you play for each other, you're going to be able to make big, big plays. So, you know, I'm thankful and I'm, I'm just appreciative of this opportunity. So, Kurt said uh, Tyson got kind of a tweak. Do you know that he was, that you were, the carries were going to keep coming to you in that second half at any point? Sure, I had no idea. Well, I was like, shoot, you're going to keep giving to me. I'm going to keep working with it. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it was definitely a gritty, gritty run. Um, and, you know, that they wasn't really trying to give us much. Um, they knew that, you know, it was a little tough for us. Um, and they gave us some, some good work. Um, and I'm, I'm thankful that I was able to see what I saw and just play fast. You know, it's not a lot of dancing. It was north and south and get the ball vertical. And, you know, that's what we did. And I'm glad we were able to come up on top. What, what was the vibe in the huddle in that big drive in the third quarter when you went 14 plays, 75 yards? Don't get too high, don't get too low, stay in the middle and keep playing ball. Um, you know, you had that mindset, it doesn't matter, you know, what's going on in the first half. I know a lot of people startled, you know, like, man, what's going on? You know, even the goal line. I, I pulled Lottie to the side, I said, man, I'm in this with you. You know what I'm saying? We in this together. You know, you don't look on your teammates and look down on them because they don't make a play. And when I didn't get in the goal line, he ain't say nothing like that to me. So, you know, that's just the mindset of this team. You know, you gotta have a positive attitude. And as a leader, you gotta always stay focused on, you know, the end goal, and that's the win. So um, that was the, the main focus on the drive, and that's why you were able to see points on the board. So, Justice, how does it feel that no matter what the game plan is today, it got altered a little bit, but the offensive line is kind of the, the, the you know the thing you can anchor it to. Uh, you know, as a runner, just I know you've spoken about it before, but how much do you appreciate what what they're able to do and how they can kind of they can play regardless of what the game plan is? Man, so much. I need to take them out to eat. Y'all know any food options? Shoot, I need to take them out to eat because. Those guys, man, they, every single day in practice, you know, you see it, you know. So when we get in the game, you know, I, some drives I smile because I'm like, man, I've seen this in practice a thousand times, you know. O-line blocking what they need to block and just putting the ball where it needs to be, you know. And those guys, I'm so appreciative of everything they've been doing. Um, and I'm excited to keep winning with them, so. Little Zograbs. Huh? It stays. Little Zograbs. There we go. House. It's very expensive. <laughs> hey, so I need to check them out. I need to go in the deep pockets for that one. There you go. Justice, uh, talk a little bit about it the atmosphere and game day being here and was it a distraction or what was you guys thinking? We got a veteran team, you know, a lot of us you know, played in big games like this before. Um, I remember my freshman year, I played college game day against Clemson, you know, and I was out there running like a jackrabbit. I didn't know what was going on, but you know, now I'm four or five years in, a lot of the guys are <laughs> four or five years in as well. So it's like, go out there and play football, man. Like the crowd, the media, game day, you know, that's, that's for the fans, that's for the fans. And we're going to get a part of that too, but 
It's about winning, you know, and we had our mindset like, you know, trust your rules, check your, trust your technique, and just play football. You know, that's all it is at the end of the day. Justice, 29 carries today. That's a collegiate career high for you. What sort of connection did you have on the field today with Taven? Uh, great guy. I mean, I told him, man, before the game, I said, I'm going to be right there with you. You know, whatever the team needs me, if it's a third down, I got to go block. You know, if it's if it's first down and, you know, I need we, we first and 20, you know, I need to go get the first down. I'm going to have that men mentality. I'm going to get it for you. You know, and, you know, I'm, I'm proud of Taven keeping his head, you know, the whole time during the game and just continue to play football. You know, he made some really – I love the pull on the – on the I think it was a four-yard line. He pulled the ball and he scored a touchdown. I, I went up there and I dabbed him on the butt. I said, man, that's all we need, man. That's all we need just be you. You don't got to be anyone else but you. So I'm very proud of him. Justice, Last one. Justice, only one penalty for five yards. Say, how important is it for the offense to stay ahead of the sticks and remain the penalty free and stay free? Believe it or not, watch the film. The the penalty was on. The, the wind blew his uh, shirt up, so that's what I. They, they, that's why they called the penalty. But that wasn't a penalty. But I mean, the guys. End of the day, like they know what we're supposed to do. Like that wasn't a real penalty. I watched it on the film. But yeah. Is that blood? Is that blood on your thumb there? Yeah, it is blood. You know. No, what blood. happened? A little gritty out there. That's a. Thanks, Joe. Yeah.